everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. Today, you guys, we will be doing our paycheck to paycheck, paycheck budget or weekly check-in as it is for me. So let's dive right on in. I'm not going to stall y'all out today. Um, also, I'll be doing my monthly May budget. This is my monthly layout in my two-page calendar. I went ahead and did that, but we'll be doing the breakdown soon. That'll be the next video that you see. Um, I did go ahead and kind of set my budget planner up. I just wanted to kind of feel like how I wanted it to go. Oh, yeah, we need to do a review of last week, you guys. So last week was... April 25th through May 1st, uh, we guesstimated here at 7.50. Hold on. I thought I filled this in. I think I did it for the month. Let me check. Let's look at here. Let's go to the salon portion of my A6. I'm glad I haven't cleaned that out yet. So we did 8.83 last week. You all are going to be surprised at the monthly number, but you should kind of guess at how I've been coming in over seven fifty for each week besides one week when I could have did more. Um, nails, we didn't do any nails last week. Um, Norris Cove. Oh, I have that number. What did I do with it? It was like one fifty six. Let me see. It may be on my monthly. Let me let me switch over to the monthly right quick because I know I put. Okay. I can't remember what we did last week, you guys. Isn't that a shame? Well, we'll leave this at 50. Um, I don't think we, I think we might have did a little bit above 50. I gotta check. We'll just leave that at 50. <clears throat> uh, no miscellaneous, to my knowledge. And let's see what we got. But we did make a sale or two last week. And thank you to those who order um, the paycheck to paycheck and the monthly budget. That way we can do it together when I'm budgeting 883 plus 50. Those were my only income last week. 933, again, this is still a guessment, but I'm thinking we did um, a little bit more. I do have some things coming to the shop for my budgeters. Um, I, I'm gonna set up my website so that all of the budget and income and finance things are all in one place where you can find them. You don't have to necessarily search for everything. So we did do PayPal. They came out. And car insurance came out. GoDaddy came out. Clothed and paper, which we were putting money aside for that to come out um, on the first, which it did. Amazon, I think that came out today. But we'll scratch that off. So everything came out. So we did um, have our um, 500 and $52. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I spent a lot of money last week and I didn't even add it up. <laughs> I was just, ooh. and I went out of town. My niece had her baby. So um, I did go to Richmond. So she was due to have the baby May 5th. They were going to take it because he was breached. He decided to come six days after my birthday. I was so excited. So I went last weekend. So I don't necessarily have to go this coming weekend. So that's going to save me some money. But that was the breakdown of last week also let me just subtract from what i thought i would make with the differences i don't think i would do that um a difference about a hundred dollars 93 dollars so cool i probably blew that <laughs> all right so let's get into this week again i got my highlighter here let me zoom in looking a little faint but this is how i add a little color so if you did purchase this you want a little color you can always add stickers you can add color and matter of fact i'm gonna put out some of my favorite stickers to show you guys how to use it so we are doing may 2nd through i think it's the 9th let me check all these calendars around here and i i just can't get it together hold on now. here it is here's one right here I'm going to bring my own. Let's see. May the 2nd through May the 8th. Okay. First off, hair. That is our number one. 
a breadwinning source of income. So you guys, I've been looking and noticing that I'm coming in around 800. I'm a little scared to go to 800, but as I say, if you write it down, you kind of bring things, you know, about. But I'm going to stick with 750, but I will be upping this soon on a weekly basis. I'm thinking I'm getting a raise. Also, one of my clients from pre-pandemic came back, so that is a blessing. Nails, I do have two clients this week. I'm going to put 60. I don't think they're getting anything major done. Norris Cove. I don't think I'll have any new releases this week. Um, I'll just put zip for right now, but that always changes. And then I'll do miscellaneous. Okay. So next up, we have bills due. So the first, actually, let me go to the calendar. So I just don't be guesstimating all uh, willy-nilly. On the first, well, actually the second. Don't you see that? Um, community community and I've already paid them and I think I gave them community got I paid somebody oh I think I gave y'all yeah, hold on I can tell you let's see what did I give community bank I gave them 40 see that's why it's good to have in more places than one and somebody got 50 credit one credit one is due so let's go on order your sheet of shopify i didn't look what shopify was but the last time i checked i think we're going to be about 60 dollars. let's just do that and when it changes i add it over here i'm gonna start putting a sticker over what it is so we have shopify then we have on the fourth walmart this is the first of the month. This is when most of my little credit cards I do. Credit one. So Walmart, I said I was going to give 50 to. I don't know. Credit one. I, I gave them 50. I paid them early because I wanted them to come out with the extra money I had last week. So I've already paid them. And on the fifth, we have Uplift. That is, if you all remember... I got my daughter some flight tickets and I was just, you know, didn't want to beat the deal and I was a little low on the money. And so, uplift. I think that payment, I'm going to put it at 40 and I need to put that in my planner that I need to kind of go in and pay that. Um, let's see, uplift. And then Canva is due on the 7th and Canva is $13.77. But, let's see what I got here. So, over here, I have, then I have booth rent. See? I have to double check that. Booth rent, that'll be the seventh as well. And that is $250. And Shopify, Uplift, Canva. Okay, so that seems to be about everything. And I actually did this last week, you guys. I filled this out last week so I could be kind of prepared. So let's do our math. So we have a total of 503.77. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight again down here to add a little color. Let that dry. So I'm paying about 500 or something dollars a week in bills is what it's looking like. And I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I don't want to pay that. <laughs> so that means I need to get some bills down. Then I think I told you guys I got a Southwest card. Pray for me. I was determined not to use it, but I went and bought some products with it today. Only spent like $115. So I said, that's easy for me to pay, but I'm not going to run the balance up. Okay, let's subtract... Oh, we can do this, which is 810. Our total is 810 here. So let's subtract 503 from 810. That leaves us with 30623. 
And as I've stated before, I am not a zero-based budgeter. I have to do a budget that works for me. I would love to be a zero-based budgeter, but I just can't. But I am keep writing down that I want to put $25 a week in my savings. So I'm going to continue to write that. I don't do it, but I'll eventually do it. Um, groceries. I'm trying to get in the habit of adding groceries, an envelope for groceries. I didn't do it last week because there was a lot going on with the baby and all this other stuff. I had a lot of other stuff going on. I worked late a couple of days where I normally don't, so there was a lot of eating out and went to lunch with my co-workers one day, so I didn't do groceries last week. So that extra money was gone. So these two things I'm going to definitely try to do. And if we take the 306... And we subtract 125, that leaves us with 181. Let's put these totals here. Y'all may hear my dog barking, but he's okay. 181. And I leave this because like I had to get gas last week, so I need to get gas probably this week. I have some other little things going on. Um, a friend of mine's birthday is Friday. Um, but what I'll give her won't come out of any money. I'll just help her out with her hair a little bit, give her a little discount on her hair or something like that. But that is our weekly budget. So I'm thinking hopefully we can come a little bit above the 810. Um, this right here, nothing will change. Now, the only thing is because I kind of took last week's money, let it sit in the account to pay for community and credit one so those two bills are already taken care of actually they should be coming out like tomorrow so i'm going to just go ahead and go through those so now i just need to pay put the money in my account for shopify uplift because those come out of two different accounts well they came out of the same account but not the account that these come out of that makes sense and so i need to just transfer money over there for that canva and really we'll be done um, as I stated before, I'm doing so much better. I was talking to my sister about it. Like, when you know better, you do better. And I'm, I've grown. And now I don't touch a certain amount of money because to prepare me for the following week. You know, that way I can't say, oh, I don't have it. For a long period of time, I said I didn't have it. But clearly I did. So, yeah, sometimes you just have to make your budget work for you. Now, you can try out someone's budgeting um, the way they budget. But something you may have to tweak it to make it your own i love dave ramsey's concept i love the budget mom's concept um the organized money uh concept but i have to do what works for me so some things i may pick up from them like the thousand dollar um emergency fund i love that idea i think everybody has that idea i love that idea of that being your starter one but for me it's a little harder because i need more you know so it's just harder for me to do that. But so now for me, I just think 500 is good. So I'll go over the fundamentals of my budgeting mindset um, at some other point. I'll probably make a whole video about it, probably show my face, all that great stuff. And that way, because I know I have some entrepreneurs, I know I have self-employed people who follow me, my nail techs, my hairstylists. And I just wanted to make sense for us, you know, especially us, because getting cash tips and all that stuff on an everyday basis, money can fly straight through our hands. And I just want to make it simple for us so that we can have something, especially my young entrepreneurs, my young self-employed people, because been there, done that. I should be a millionaire. I should have millions saved, but I blew so much money. So I don't want you guys to do that. I want you to learn from my mistakes. I want you to be better in your finances and have tons of money when you get to my age. Okay. So enough rambling. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.